Hello and welcome to this episode. Today I shall explain why three connected batteries, each of 12 volt 100 EH, do not deliver 36 volt 300 EH, as is widely expected by a layman. I shall explain the concept of series connection and parallel connection of batteries. The sketches in the slides that follow shall clarify the matter in a very very simple manner. In this sketch, you see three batteries of 12 volt 100 EH and these are all connected in series. What do I mean when I say connected in series? See, you have the positive of the first 12 volt 100 EH battery connected to the negative of the second battery. The first battery which I am referring to is the battery on the extreme right. So, you have the positive of that battery connected to the negative of the second battery. The second battery is the one in the middle and then the positive of the second battery is connected to the negative of the third battery. The third battery is the one on the extreme left. Now you have the positive of the third battery which is free and that terminal wire is drawn out and you have the negative of the first battery which is free which is not connected and that terminal wire is also drawn out. Now when you connect a load across the positive of the third battery and the negative of the first battery what output you get is 36 volt 100 EH. So you have 12 volts of the first battery, the 12 volts of the second battery and the 12 volt of the third battery. These are all added together so you get 36 volts. Here you find that the voltage is additive and the capacity remains the same. The capacity of the first battery is 100 EH, the second battery is 100 EH, the third battery is 100 EH and that capacity remains the same. So what you get as an output is 36 volt 100 EH. Now let us have a look at this sketch. You again have three batteries of 12 volt 100 EH but these are connected in parallel. So the same battery, you have the same battery or a similar battery 12 volt 100 EH and these are connected in parallel. What do I mean connected in parallel? Here you find that the positive of the first battery, the positive of the second battery and the positive of the third battery are all connected to each other. And the negative of the first battery, the negative of the second battery and the negative of the third battery are all connected together. And then you draw the terminal connection from any of these batteries, the positive as well as the negative of any of these batteries and then connect it to a load. What you get as an output is 12 volt 300 EH. In this case, you find that 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300 which is the capacity. However, the voltage remains constant as 12 volt. The voltage does not become 12 plus 12 plus 12. The voltage is 12 volt and the capacity is 300 EH. The capacity is additive. It is 300 pH. We had taken three batteries of 12 volt 100 pH and connected them in series. We had taken three batteries of 12 volt 100 pH, connected them in parallel. Now, if you take that same set of three batteries of 12 volt 100 pH connected in parallel, and you have another set like that and a third set like that, which means you have three plus three plus three nine batteries of which three are connected in parallel another three are connected in parallel and the third set three batteries are connected in parallel what do you have you have 12 volt 300 eh coming out from the first set you have 12 volt 300 eh coming out from the second set you have 12 volt 300 eh coming out from the third set now if the first set is connected in series to the second set and the second set is connected in series to the third set that connection is done and it is shown with the black uh, cable going across. So you find that the output terminals which come out from the first set negative and the third set positive, if you connect that to a load, you now have 36 volt 300 EH. So you have three sets of batteries, each set having three batteries. So totally you are having nine batteries. You have connected three in parallel, three in parallel, three in parallel. And then you have connected 
these the various sets in series and then you take out an output you have 36 volt 300 h so this is batteries connected in parallel and then in series i do hope that the subject of series and parallel connection and the connection of batteries in a combined manner by paralleling and then connecting in series is clear to the viewers of this video. I look uh, forward to your uh, responses and the contact details to get in touch with me are given on this slide. Thank you very much and uh, look forward to your uh, suggestions, uh, views and responses. Thank you.